Hey, who is a good boy? Who is a good boy? It feels like you are carried by a stork in a little cloth bundle. And we will try to understand how it was more popular then and why the purchase, I would say, is justified. The most common, the most famous, the most popular. Yes, I'm talking about this aircraft, Cessna 172. Hello friends, this is Pilot's Way channel, and today we have a very interesting video. We're going to take a look at a legendary Cessna 172, and we will try to understand how it won against its direct sales competitor Piper P828. It has been in production since 1956, and there has been produced around 44,000 aircraft. This is the aircraft I began my flight practice with, and later I started flying PA-28, and I wanted to understand why most people chose Cessna. Let's go! First of all, let's look back in history. The moment of fame for Cessna aircraft company happened in June of 1945, as that was the moment Cessna 120 got airborne, which then became a truly universally loved aircraft. Cessna 120 was designed for the people, moreover the price was extremely affordable, even judging by those times it was only around $2,500. In 1947 Cessna 170 got airborne for the first time with a newly enhanced engine. This four-seat aircraft laid the foundation for the popularity of the future Cessna 172. Thanks to deep and thorough modernization of Cessna 170, the hero of today's video Cessna 172 was born. It had modern tricycle landing gear, Fowler flaps, 145 horsepower Continental engine, pretty comfortable four-seat cabin, equipment for VFR flight, and an extremely affordable price of only $8,900. It's kind of a car with wings, symbol of the United States. There are a lot of reviews of Cessna 172 on YouTube, and most of them claim that the reason why it became a bestseller is due to its reliability and simplicity. But P-28 is also famous for these qualities. Moreover, these aircraft are almost identical in terms of maintenance cost. Hence, there should be some other reason why people chose Cessna over Piper. In my opinion, generally the thing that people love it for is the fact that you can land it from both sides. This is what most Piper aircraft lack. It is very comfortable and I also think it's way better even in terms of safety. Let's take a look at our aircraft that is equipped with 160 horsepower Lycoming O320. This is the same engine that is equipped on PA28 that I am practicing on. By the way, I have a review of PA28 that you can watch by clicking the link above. Recommended cruise speed is 115 knots. Maximum speed, according to manufacturer, is 163 knots, which they do not recommend reaching. Service ceiling is 14,000 feet. The hero of today's video uses on average about 10 gallons per hour of flight. The endurance of this aircraft is around 6 hours. During that time it can cover up to 700 nautical miles. 
It is very sensitive during takeoff. It climbs much easier compared to PA-28. You feel bank angle more on this aircraft. Even though you bank like 20 degrees, you see the terrain underneath you and you really, you really feel that. Well, the difference is due to construction. Cessna 172 is a high-wing airplane and you can see everything in the direction of your bank. PA-28, on the other hand, has low-mounted wings. Other important thing is that this aircraft is very profitable and its purchase and operation is justified in terms of so-called short field operation. That's when we operate on short runways. Let's get back to the review. In my opinion, one of the reasons why this aircraft became more popular is a large-scale PR campaign. Remember the 64 days long travel on this aircraft, which was conducted by two pilots who took off on the 4th of December 1958 and landed on the 4th of February 1959. During this flight, twice a day, pilots descended to a very small height above the runway where they refueled their aircraft with the help of a refueler. In the same manner, they took their food and drinks. This Cessna was equipped with a bed in which one of the pilots was sleeping, while the other was piloting. They were airborne for 64 days and 22 hours. It is a fantastic event and they managed to break the world record. It is incredibly smooth. It doesn't react right away. It has a sort of inertia like a ship. It's very, very calm. You bank to the right and the aircraft asks, are you sure? Okay. And only then it banks. And it is the same for other things like thrust, so you have to do it in advance. But it is very calm. It feels like you are carried by a stork in a little cloth bundle. Next event made this aircraft famous around the globe. On the 27th of May 1987, a German pilot Matthias Rust landed near the gates of Kremlin. He attempted to perform landing at Red Square, but there were a lot of people there and he thought it would be unsafe. While flying around the Kremlin, he noted the time it takes for a red on a traffic light to illuminate, and when it illuminated, he landed. When he got off the aircraft, he began to give autographs. In an hour, he was arrested and sentenced to four years in prison. However, he was granted amnesty and released after a year. You know, thanks to this event, most of the USSR military top commanders were dismissed. However, the whole world saw Cessna 172. Even those who barely knew what the aircraft is, turned their TV on and saw this event. There are some extra conveniences for which many people love this aircraft, and I'm not an exception. First of all, you have a great cockpit view thanks to the fact that wings are mounted high. It is especially important during sightseeing flights or even if you just want to have an enjoyable ride. To have such an incredible view, windows that can be opened, the feature that other aircraft do not have, and to use this feature during aerial photography, of course with some safety precautions. I think it is incredible. You can do a lot of things with it, as it is suitable for some unprepared surfaces. For example, if you want to land on an unpaved runway, it will be much easier for you. Whereas Piper is a low-wing aircraft and landing on an unpaved runway would require some skill. Cessna, on the other hand, is forgiving. It has a more rigid landing gear and due to the fact that it is a high-wing aircraft, you can do many things with it, such as for example aerial photography. The thing you won't be able to do on a low-wing aircraft. If we compare Cessna 172 and PA-28, Cessna 172 is a Toyota Camry. Quiet, tranquil and predictable. Piper is like BMW, it is sharp, bold, it wants to play with you, 
and you always have to control it. Now I understand why most people choose Cessna. I think it is less adventurous. It does not give you any extreme surprises. Yeah, it's like there are family cars and this is a family aircraft that you want to get into and just fly. During the flight, the wing covers you from the sun, which is a serious advantage. If you have never flown, try to do that on a sunny day on a high wing and a low wing aircraft. High wing aircraft creates a shadow and you feel like you fly under an umbrella. It is more comfortable in this regard. Козырьком. То есть для длительных полетов он такой более комфортный в плане солнышка. You feel a bumps, don't you? Yeah, a little. You can see that from the side. That's that's not a little. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, here's the flare. In my opinion, it is much easier to fly Cessna, I repeat, easier. You understand and feel it right away, and it gives you this feeling of calm during the flight. Write in the comments are the reasons why Cessna is more popular than PA-28. Tell us about what you felt flying this aircraft. I suggest you subscribe to this channel and see the way of the pilot. Click the bell button and you will be the first to see my videos. See you at the aerodrome. До встречи на аэродромах.